Hello, so today I'm gonna show you how to convert a thrower switch into a single pole. Okay, first and foremost, always come to your breaker, turn off the corresponding breaker. Turn it off first before doing anything. Okay, so if it happens that you don't understand the video, please watch one of my previous video that I already um, done where I uploaded everything on my channel, uh, the initial mounting, okay? And in that initial mounting, I have explained everything. And this one is only a modification that I ended up doing once I realized that I can actually transform the three-way switch into a single pole. Again, if you're not sure about what I'm doing right now, you can watch one of my video of my channel where I made a walkthrough of uh, doing a normal three-way switch and then I ended up converting this one. So I'm gonna put the video in the description and then you will be helped in case it is needed. Thank you. Okay, so I have a three-way switch that I am replacing. This is the sensor, okay? So from the sensor, I use one black wire that I connect to another black wire and another black wire to another black wire. This one is the one that, that was connected initially to the, the black screw on the switch, okay? The switch I mo removed. So that was the one. So this red over here, I don't need it anymore. So I left it alone. The blue wire coming out of the sensor, I don't need either. So I leave it alone. I will need to cap them off. And on the other side, which is the other switch, the companion switch that was here, I removed the switch altogether. I connected both black wires. So the one that was coming from the, the one that was coming from the the, the black uh, uh, screw, like you know, this one here on the bottom here. So this one was the one I taped here because initially this was over here, but I removed it. So I have this one that is this here. So as I removed the one that is over here, I put the two black together. And since this red one, I don't use it from over there. I don't know if you can see. So you see this over there, I don't have the red one connected. So over here also, I don't have the red one connected. So therefore, I have only the two black connected. It makes me converted as a single pole switch. And this one, I don't need it because this one is the one coming from outside that is not needed. So I need only one sensor in the room as you enter in. And that makes the work done. Okay. So what I did here is that I trimmed off this red wire that is not being used. And I'm going to put this one to cap it. So I converted in a single pole. I remove this red one that I don't use anymore. Okay, and I cap it off. I also remove this one. I cap it off coming from the sensor. And then on the other side, I put the two black together because the two black are fed on the other side over there, right? So we had the two black fed over there. And we want also the same thing over here. So I put them together and then I remove the red and I, I put the red aside. The ground is inside. That become a single pole switch. Okay. So now I have put this plate here, a blank plate. And then on the other side, I simply put back this sensor. So now I have only the sensor controlling everything. That works fine for me, for my purpose. And I'm gonna put the cover on, push back, push back, and here we go. Now let's go turn back the light and see. Okay, so we're gonna turn back the breaker. Okay, there you go. And we have light back here, and the sensor is here. If you push, you can turn off. Push turn back on, and that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.